What's up, y'all, man? This team. I was looking at a comment from my last video, bro, and this one dude was talking shit, man. He was like, he said something like, most of Gen Z is making YouTube videos and make cars, bro. I thought it was funny. I thought it was stupid little diss. But, bro, people like him, bro, they just don't get it, bro. You know, anyway, y'all, I just wanted to talk to y'all today, man. You know, this has been weighing on my heart for a minute. But, you know, I, I realize, like, hard work does not pay off in 2024, bruh. It just doesn't. Like, probably back in the day it did because, you know, there wasn't no AI. You know, there wasn't as much technology, so there were more job opportunities. And, you know, as, as time goes on, you know, technology gets more advanced and it just replaces jobs that, you know, require, you know, humans to do so. You know, in 2024, bro, hard work just does not pay off, bro. Like, the only way to get it out the mud in 2024, bro, is for it to be given to you, bro. Or you just got to, you got to get in massive debt, you know, go to college, become a doctor or lawyer, bro. That feels like those are the only two careers where you can make something of yourself, bro. Like, if you're not a rapper, bro, if you're not getting monetized online, bro, TikTok, bro, if you're not, if you're not getting your views monetized, bro, it's like there's no way to come up nowadays, bro. But anyway, y'all, bro, I say that because, you know, me, you know, I went to school for electrical. You know, I want to be a, you know, a licensed electrician. You know, it'd be nice if I could, you know, have my own little van, you know, do my own little thing. But for the time being, right, I'm an apprentice, right? And the thing about being an apprentice, bro, is I'm not saying your job is harder than the licensed person you're working under. But you do, you do more, you do a lot more of the dirty work, you know, you're doing a lot more of the pulling, you're doing a lot more of the grunt work, do, they're doing more of the thinking, bro, and you're doing more of the grunt work, right, but anyway, bro, like, someone like me, bro, I've completed some jobs, you know, I've done, um, like, street lights, I've done, you know, parking lot lights, you know, I'd be going to people's houses, you know, doing outlets, you know, TVs, you know, it'd be a store being built, you know, I do the lights, I do the outlets, and I do all the, you know, other little, you know, electrical, you know, air and dairy, you know, like in the bathrooms, you know, the little emergency things you pull. I've done those a couple of times, bro. And the, the thing that sucks about it is, you know, driving past or even going to a store that you've done. And I'm not saying you don't get no recognition for it, but it's more like I'm still struggling to pay bills, bro. It's like you're just a wagey, bro. Like, I feel like a wagey, bro. I'm not going to cap. I feel like I'm just... I'm just in it to just make another dude rich, and he just gave me the crumbs. He just giving me what he can, bro. And it stinks because, you know, I, like, you do a beautiful job, bro. Like, I'll be driving past, you know, a little mall, and, you know, the parking lot lights or, like, the street lights, and I'll be like, I did those, which I did. You know, I'm not capping about it, but I'm still struggling to pay bills, bro. <laughs> and it's not even like I'm struggling, like, I can't make it to next month because I can't. The thing is, it's like, you know, the thing about trades suck because you're not getting paid based on how well you did. You're getting paid hourly, bro. And, you know, I did this one store, you know, if you're, if you live in Connecticut, which I do, you know, if you're familiar with West Farms, bro, I've done, I've done some beautiful work in one of those stores there, right? I'm not going to say the name or whatever, but it's like every time I go to the mall, bro, and I look at the store, it's like, damn, bro, I really did that. But I still don't, I'm still struggling, bro. And it's, it's not even just that, bro. I'm talking about, like, Amazon workers, bro. I have some friends. I got family that work at Amazon, bro. And the they always say, bro, the amount of work compared to what you make just is not it, bro. Like, there's people doing stretches before work, bro. There's people in warehouses literally doing fucking mental health evaluations because, bro, these companies know that the amount of work that their employees are doing, bro, the, <laughs> the juice is not worth the squeeze, bro. They understand that. Like, bro, I don't want to, I don't want to be the dude, you know, in my thirties working in the warehouse doing stretches and shit, you know, before my shift, because there's a chance I could fucking injure myself, bro. Like hard work just does not pay off, bro. Some of the hardest working people I know still live with their parents, bro. And I'm talking about people who went to school and moved up in their careers, bro. They still living at home. They still driving their shitty little car, bro. They still struggling to pay bills, bro. It just don't, it, it, it just don't add up, bro. And I, I don't see a solution in sight. Like, like I said, bro, if you're not, if you're not getting paid to, if you're not getting paid based off your image, you know what I'm saying? If you're not, uh, if you're not a creator, bro, if you're not getting monetized, if you're not an artist, bro, if you're not a fucking athlete, bro, you're not, you're, you, that's the new middle class, bro. The new middle class is people who are fucking making millions, bro. That's the new middle class, bro, because... I'm not going to lie. There is no middle class anymore. If you're not like, <laughs> I'm 
I'm not like, bro, the middle class is fucking dead, bro. I feel like that's why, you know, currently, you know, October 2024, man, it's an election year. You know, the election is next month, bro. And, you know, the main focus on, you know, the, the Republican Party is they want to be the party known for the, the, the working class, right? You know, the middle class. And it's like, what even is the middle class anymore? Because people with these big houses, bro, they still struggling themselves. Like, they, everyone's living paycheck to paycheck. Like, hard work just does not, it, it don't pay off anymore. And it, I don't know, bro. It's like the rich people, you know, the people who can afford to live comfortably, bro, they're just they make money off the backs of the working class, bro. And they just give us, you know, whatever they feel like giving us, bro. It don't even matter what experience you got anymore. Like, like college graduates, bro, they're even struggling to get jobs. And it just sucks because, you know, our whole life we were told hard work pays off, get a job and live a happy life, bro. But the thing is, like, it's like you got to go into massive debt to get an education and that don't even guarantee you a job. And if it do guarantee you a job, it's not even like, like, I'm talking, I'm not talking about like a minimum wage job. I'm talking about a job where you had to get some type of education for it, bro. Those jobs, they're not even guaranteed. You're not even guaranteed to make money. Like my first, my first company I worked at, bro, I went to school, bro. The teachers were talking about, oh, you're going to make so much money. You're going to be making 20 an hour, 21 an hour, 22 an hour, bro. And my first company, they started me at 16. And I did a whole two years, year and a half of school for that shit, bro. Bro, like 20 bucks an hour, bro. That's just it. <laughs> and obviously, it's some people making it. But, bro, if you have to get, if you got to go into debt and get a crazy fucking trade, bro, or go into or go to college or some shit to get a job that's going to start you off at 19 17 dollars bro bro you know what that could get you bro <laughs> bro i live in connecticut bro i saw this thing where you know hartford's our capital bro hartford is the number one most expensive city to live in in the fucking country bro i'll post it if you don't believe me bro i'll post it bro but it's like bro do you know what 20 bucks an hour can get you out here bro get you the fuck on bro <laughs> you can't you can't get nothing with 20 an hour bro i'm not gonna lie bro and hard work, bro, it just does not pay off, bro, because people are getting injured at work, man. People are losing their lives. People are people are falling into depression. You know, it just it just doesn't add up. And I don't know if y'all can tell me if it do, if it has for you. You know, I probably I probably got to give it a couple more years. But even then, I bet you I'm still gonna be struggling with bills. It's like, bro, these companies they don't they don't give a fuck about the employees, bro. We're we're just wages. We're wages. We don't mean nothing to them, bro. Like, hard work does not mean shit. And the, th the thing that sucks about it, you know, me personally, is driving past the job I did. The lights are still running. You know, you can still plug your phone in and charge that shit. And all I did was get a little paycheck that just went straight to bills, bro. And it's like, oh, God, bro. Is, is there a light at the end of the tunnel, bro? Because I'm not seeing it, bro. Could, could someone please tell me, is there a light at the end of the tunnel? Because it does not seem like there is, bro. And again, bro, I'm not the type to, you know, come online and just rant being all depressed and shit. Like, I'm a very optimistic guy. I'm a very, I'm a very, you know, look at the bright side type of dude. But I don't know, bro. I, the older I get, it just seems like so many things are just out my reach. And obviously it's not, you know, I'm still young. You know, every, every 20 year old, you know, has to go through this fucking stage and slow air, fucking arc and error that I'm in. But I don't know, bro. Am I ever going to get out of it, bro? Because even people in their 30s, 40s are still struggling, bro. Cannot keep a job, bro. The jobs are not paying them as much, bro. I, I really don't fucking know, bro. <laughs> you know, obviously, I'm still going to keep doing my thing. I'm still going to keep working, bro. But I just don't. Like, bro, just imagine you put the lights in a building, bro. And that shit runs perfectly fine. Them shit is beautiful, bro. Now, all you get handed is a little paycheck, and that whole paycheck goes to bills, bro. But that building going to exist for fucking decades, bro. And it's just like, oh, my God, bro. <laughs> like, I don't know, bro. If y'all get it, y'all get it, bro. If you don't, you don't. And, it, and another thing that sucks, like, is working at a warehouse or working at a fucking fast food job or doing re not even, uh, retail's not really that same. But like I said, working at a warehouse... Or working like a, at a food joint, you know, you come at home dirty, smelling like food, you know, you smell like dirt, smell like the warehouse, and they can just let you go, bro. And it's like all that time you invested just doesn't amount to anything, bro. <laughs> like, let me know in the comments, bro. Has has your hard work paid off for you, bro? In twenty twenty four, has your hard work paid off for you, bro?
And, you know, of course, you know, you can pay your bills with your little paycheck. You know, you can probably buy a car or two if you save up. But it, it that's, like, all it has to offer, bro. Like, apartments, bro, 20 bucks an hour is not going to get you shit anywhere in the United States where you cannot comfortably afford an apartment off of one income, bro, especially 20 an hour, bro. And these companies want to start you off at 16, 17. I don't know about where you live, but, you know, Connecticut, it's 16, 17, bro. And it's like, you got to get on your knees and beg and suck some dude's dick to get a fucking raise, bro. And it's like, oh, my God. It just, you got to be a kiss ass, bro. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm not really the type to be a kiss ass. But unfortunately, you got to be a kiss ass if you want to, you know, go up in the society, bro. And, you know, obviously, there's other ways to make it, like I said. But I don't know. It's like that top one, two percent of people can only achieve those things, bro, you know. You can even, bro, you can make the best music in the world, bro. You can make the most entertaining content, bro. You can make the best piece of clothing, bro. But that don't guarantee you nothing, bro. It don't. And that's why it sucks, man. But anyway, bro, let me know how y'all feel about that, man. That's just my little rant for today. You know, I got somewhere to be, man. I just wanted to talk to y'all before I had to head out over there, man. But don't be afraid to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that, all that good stuff, man. It helps me out. Man, the engagement on my last video, bro, that got me excited because, you know, it still shows me that, you know, some people still rocking with me, man. Anyway, man, I love y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all soon. Peace.